Bottolero star on the run. Jamba Fitness, Jamba Production, Zumba Fitness. Discovery was intertwined in a recent feud against Psychosis in a Lucha Libre death match. And he has recovered since suffering the abuse with white tubes, particle boards, chairs, tables, and other debris. Sky Day came to his aid. Sky Day Jr., not exactly necessarily liking that circumstance. This is our first fall of this two out of three falls massive main event. The matchups in particular, who will they favor? Teachers against students. And the talking is over. Now it's time to fight. Bondolero star, decked out in red with green and gray fatigues, primarily green. Discovery in black, yellow, and red. As he immediately snaps down Bondolero Star and controls the right arm and wrist. It is teachers against students in this main event. Discovery and Sky Day combined well over 50 years of Lucha Libre and pro wrestling experience. They have trained virtually an entire Midwest region full of future performers that not only love professional wrestling and Lucha Libre, but also have put their bodies on the line multiple times to prove a point that they want to be the next top star within the bounds of Lucha Libre. Drop to hold by Bondolero Star. And the quickness that you'll see out of the students as opposed to the teachers might be the one noticeable detail that you'll observe as this match progresses. One will use technique, the other will use speed and quickness. Not saying that the teachers can't snap off moves in multiples and with speed, but at times the technique and the experience does have a, an effect, a damaging effect. And overall, when any time that you have students that are displeasured or are feeling as though they're being mistreated or sometimes feel as though they don't have the same sort of firepower and desire 
they might have more of a tendency to want to give up, and that's why Discovery's electing to try for submissions as opposed to trying other forms. Bondolero start, the kick out, and Bondolero star nearly fell all the way to the concrete on the outside. This is a hard black top surface out here. It is literally the parking lot behind the address for Jamba Fitness and Productions and Zumba today. Talking under over the top. And once again, when it is teachers against students, any move and every move that they have learned, I'm sure the legends have a counter for, and that's what's made their matches. My goodness, he took that fall right there, right up against that fence. This is not a cage match, but right next door here, we have a lot of various different canisters loaded potentially with gases and carbon dioxide, probably for the supermarkets and the refrigeration nearby. First chance to see Sky Day against Sky Day Jr. Both men trying to take advantage. The passion and the desire of these two men is off the charts. The action inside of the ring will be fast paced, without a doubt. The rivalries that have taken place previously don't matter as much as the point that the students and the teachers do not want to lose this match. Now one is a mirror image of the other. Four of the most talented performers in the Midwest and potentially the entire world right here. Sky Day Jr. snaps down Sky Day. Experience not only in the Midwest, but also in Mexico. Sky Day also a very respected trainer who has been responsible for the training of multiple televised professional wrestling superstars over the years. And Sky Day is still as good now as he was any other time in his career. And he's not intimidated by Sky Day Jr. And he's not intimidated by fighting here to today. Tag team bouts, the changes of heart. It's been evident throughout every single one of the matches that the individuals have had. Sky Day Jr. trying to slow down. Sky Day right here. Trying to grab across the throat and the jaw and the collarbone, but snaps him down anyways. Back and forth action with Sky Day. Being elevated here. Up and over and then again. Stalemate. Sportsmanship. And the fans showing appreciation for it. level of difficulty encountering some of these moves is significant and it needs to be mentioned that sometimes it is very difficult to find counters and reversals in the ring on the move improvising and otherwise Scott A. Jr. apparently has to tape up a couple of his digits his fingers Primarily because of potentially a hyperextension. And Sky Day Im immediately leg drops Sky Day Jr. instead of continuing his forward progression and his running. Very spirited crowd. The sounds, the smells, the action. It's abundant here in this afternoon's tag team main event featured attraction. Two out of three falls outside today. Sky Day Jr. and Bondolero Star are done playing around and now it's time for the students to try to take advantage of the teachers. One drops down, the other kicks. Alternating. And the last spinning heel kick was nasty. Sent on backsplash. Moonsault press. 
That might be it for Skyday, but he bridges up at the count of one. Skyday's here to fight. He doesn't care if he's got to face two men at the same time. He's up for the task. He's up for the challenge. Tilt the world backbreaker countered. Reversals end over end. And right there, a creative backslide has put down Sky Day, the rolling, cradling, pinning attempt with both legs hooked, and the other team takes the ball. The students have won the first ball. Yes, Sky Day Junior. Star and Sky Day Junior. Win fall number one, but this match is not over by a long shot. And a fall dominated with a lot of chain wrestling. Eventually, the conclusion was that if they worked together, that they were going to improve their chances of winning, and that's what happened in the first fall. Can they do it one more time? Sky Day says he's ready. He does not need time to take a break. There is no rest period. He wants to go straight into the second fall right away. Discovery staring down the man that had his leg hooked earlier. And a war of words here before the second fall begins. The teachers are not phased by the fact that they lost the first fall. They're very confident that they can bounce back. But they are fighting from behind. Fans having fun at the expense of the performers. And they're trying to make sense out of it all. And back to live action for the beginning of the second fall. The students have the advantage and they want to win the second fall quickly. They sense the weakness in the teachers. And they want to win this as fast as possible. And I think that a double team will help their cause. We'll see when they institute it. But Sky Day picks up Sky Day Jr. and drops him from an elevated distance, eight feet in the air before dropping him right on his front side in the ring. Wrist like takeover and straight away, the nature of the second fall has become much more physical than the first. Jamming him right in the eyes as Sky Day Jr. climbs the ropes. Nice springboard back inside of the ring. Arm dragging Sky Day all the way to the floor on the outside. The students with a lot of talent, endless energy. And Discovery tried that running strike, but he ended up crouching himself on the middle rope. Wow, how did he improvise in the air on that one? Taking Discovery down. And Discovery just chopping and just stammering and striking all over the body of Bonolero Star. Going after the chest and the head and the neck. Discovery, I've never seen him this fired up before. Holy mackerel. Over the shoulders and end over end, and Discovery is dizzy. I think some frustration is brewing here between the teachers because they're fighting from behind and the students right here are almost embarrassing them from doing what they want to do. Maybe they're winded. Maybe they're tired. Maybe their divide and conquer strategy is not working to its fullest. And Sky Day very reluctant to enter the ring against Bondolero Star, considering that the progression of the recent events has led to a huge advantage for the students right here in this main event match. And Sky Day trying to continue the striking on Bondolero Star and snaps him down and plunges him down right on his back. What a fall that was. And Skyday's had it up, and he's going to take all of the abuse out on Bonolero Star. 
He hit him down below between the legs, and now he's going for the submission right here. He's trying to get the submission victory right away. The bridging attempt, Discovery with that flipping fireman's carry drop. The disco turn. He's got that arm extended behind the body. Both have submitted. The students have given up. The second fall belongs to the teachers. And as quick and as suddenly as that, all of a sudden, the match has been evened up one fall apiece. And Bonolero start trying to yank Discovery off the ring apron. The friendly action has gone personal. The hard striking and then the combos and the submissions were too much. And like I had mentioned at the beginning of this bout, I had a feeling that before this match started that the teachers were going to try to take advantage of the students. And look at this stare down between the manager and Discovery, as Discovery tried to paintbrush against half of the beard of John Paul Bouchard. The students, at that particular moment, when they were being struck upon, and it, it just seemed like they lost all their focus. And the teachers immediately found counters and reversals that allowed them to get an advantage. It's the submission style, it's the technique versus the quickness and speed and agility. Teachers against students in the third and deciding fall, the main event. Dozens of fans watching in the distance, hundreds on hand watching right here. This is our final fall. And between these four combatants and the action that has already taken place, this might not be a friendly exchange. Discovery just nailed Bondolero Star and dropped him down with a clothesline. One of the Puerto Rico's top talents locally, Bondolero Star, who has grown ex in terms of popularity ever since he started competing in the Chicagoland area. The Sky Day pounding the chest of Bondolero Star. And crowning him over the top of the back of the head with that elbow. This is a hard hitting third fall. And the damage has been done to the arm. Sky is trying to take advantage of the fact that Bonolero Star may not be at full strength. Tossing him over the top rope and to the outside. Fortunately for Bonolero Star, he protected his fall by landing on the apron first before his feet crashed onto the concrete on the outside. Discovery attacking Sky Day Jr. from behind. Clearly, the twisting and bending of the rules, and now it's Discovery taking advantage, booting off the left forearm that was extended by Sky Day on a Sky Day Jr. A spirited audience as the teachers take full advantage of this circumstance. Sky Day Jr. in a lot of trouble. And Discovery ready to take flight. And it's gonna happen right here. This might end right now. Discovery's climbing to the top. A nice swanton bomb and a flying body attack. Elbow drops. Spinning toe holds. The ankles have been damaged. And this could be it. Double team submission. Bonolero Star tries to drop kick. And right here, you cannot have either your partner or yourself get eliminated because that would give a huge advantage to the opposition and the teachers want this more. And I can tell right now that with Bondolero Star crushed on the outside with also a history of left ankle issues, it might be Sky Day Jr. wrestling the duration of the rest of this match on his own against two men. And these teachers are pretty much done messing around. They want to win this fall at all costs, even if they got to cheat to win. Sky Day and Discovery taking turns. Bonolero start flip backwards, but attacked again. Now, two men at the same time. They slid, they moved, and Bonolero start down the way. Watch out! Flying body attacks! 
Scott A. Jr. connects on Discovery. Final arrow star on the outside. He nailed Sky Day. Sky Day landed in the audience next to some woman's purse. The question is, how will the teachers rebound and can the students win this match with everyone on the outside? I don't know how that's going to work. Discovery trying to make some new friends around here. Is he allowed to do that? What is this all about? <laughs> I guess Discovery's making plans for later. I don't know. Maybe, uh, who knows? Elgato being very generous with the count. And the students almost suffered the default in that third, in this uh, third one. And if it wasn't for those flying body attacks, I don't know if the students would still even be in this match. And I'm surprised the students didn't try to take advantage of this circumstance on the outside. And they reset in the ring instead. Sky Day sending Bondolero, sending Scotty Jr. into the ropes. Bondolero start with the springboard arm drag takedown. Now Discovery re-enters, and he cuts off Bondolero's star with the back body drop. Uh-oh, Discovery just hit his own partner. Forearm to the chest. Where is he going? One carried by the other, and then he snapped him down. Discovery and Sky Day not working well together right here. And the teachers are in trouble. Wow! Ten feet in the air with a drop kick sends Discovery to the outside. Bonolero star on the run! Watch out! Oh my! Flying attack! And he landed the tailboat first on a concrete below and he missed Discovery on the fall. Oh my! What a devastating fall from 12 feet in the air and Bonolero star immediately hops to his feet and tries to walk away from it. Sky Day with Sky Day Jr. now by themselves. Discovery's still down on the outside. Tilt a whirl. Rolls up Sky Day. He's got his arms inverted, but Sky Day found an escape. Sky Day now with a chance to put Sky Day Jr. down, and he's going around and around. And a sick, nice neck crank on the head scissors. And Sky Day Jr.'s got to give it up, and he does. And I think Bondolero's star might be out for the count. The team captain was beaten, and the third fall belongs to the teachers. And Bondolero's star, the safety of that young man, definitely in question after that crazy back body fall. Sky Day Jr. over elevated his partner over the top rope to the outside and the fans applauding the incredible efforts of all four men in this match but today it was the teachers the teachers proved that the students don't have the same skills and the same abilities and as veterans sometimes you could take a shortcut and a claim victory and they did just now <laughs> Teachers paying respect to the students for their efforts. As partners in the ring and in life, all of these individuals definitely getting a well-deserved round of applause. The training has paid off. And I'm sure that the respect level has grown even that much more for the students because of their efforts here today. And Bondolero starts taking the worst of all the falls and is lucky to walk out of this under his own power.